So yes, I'll be making more NBA content, specifically, you know, the first round of the playoff has officially over. It's almost officially over, but I think every series is pretty much over except for the Cavaliers versus the, La the Orlando Magic. So if you watch and you like this video, give a big round of applause to the Orlando Magic, you know, that is pushing the Cavaliers to, you know, Game 7 stuff. We all want to see Game 7. We all want to see excitement. No BS, no none of that. We don't hear we we don't want to hear any more nonsense or other N E L C O um, BS. We don't want like sweep, no boring series. We want to see fun and exciting, right? So yeah. Unfortunately a series go to seven, so and then we already start with a conference semifinal today, you know, Denver Nuggets versus the Tim Wolf. That's gonna be an exciting one, but I s you know where the Tim Wolf play at the you know high altitude you know good luck to the Tim Wolf being the Nuggets and I believe in them so yeah so so far I mean I promised to make every individual series but look like you know I was too slow too lazy and I decided to make you know every recap in just one little video that way you don't have to click you know into like multiple videos and it's just better that way if you just confirm to one so that way you know I don't have to upload like ridiculous amounts of you know, videos on YouTube, right? And as the series goes on and on in the playoff, you know, more teams eliminated. You know, it's just much easier to focus on you know, every series because now there's less series and less teams and all the pretenders are gone in the playoff and the NBA will get much more spicier and interesting, right? So yeah, I think I pretty much predicted like I say most of the series I got was you know correct because I've been you know following NBA without watching it. I've been following on YouTube and here and there and I've been knowing what's been going on in the NBA, right? So Yeah, so let's see. So there's a total of eight series, right? So I'll tell you which one's done. They're pretty much all done except for the Cavs versus Magic, so let's go over with you know, the Thunders, you know, versus the Pelicans, right? Yeah, I wasn't surprised, you know, like the... I'm actually not surprised that the OKC Thunder, you know, swept the Pelicans, right? I know the Pelican, they're just unserious and they just have injury problem, right? Zion looks really overweight and in the future, I think the Pelican's gonna get rid of Zion, right? What else to say, right? The Pelican didn't even deserve to be in the playoffs, right? The OKC Thunder just like literally like like beat the Pelican. They blew them out every single game. I mean, the first game was like very interesting, you know. Okay, they kept that was that was a very you know, entertaining game, and then you know the rest of the game was just technically like the Thunder just dominated the you know the Pelicans, right? I feel like why the this is the reason why the Thunders only beat the Pelicans by two point in the first game is because, yeah, that this is like their first time you know being a player with this you know new type of roster like, yeah that that's the game that the Pelicans should have won, because yeah because if you've been in the playoff for the first time, ever in you know history then, is this your first time doing it? I expect your know, failures and all stuff, but. It's just tell it just shows you how terrible the Pelicans are, right? I mean this is okay I think game one's probably the OKC in my opinion, you know, the worst game they ever experienced because it's just the first time they don't know how it is and then the second game they just blew the Pelican out and the Pelicans still score only ninety two points. I mean both game, you know, like Pelican only scored like ninety two points, you know, both at OKC. The first two games, you know, Pelican scored like ninety two point, but the only difference in game two is that the Thunder scored 30 more points, so it's very scripted, right? Yeah, and then, you know, game four, you know, the Pelican just like, they just probably give up, and the OKC Thunder only scored, like, yeah, they just, they didn't even care game four, so that, that series that I'm talking about, OKC versus Thunder, there's nothing much to say, it's just pretty much boring, and yeah, the Thunders, you know, they, they play a little bit better than I thought, but 
it's still, you know, not that impressive. And I got a feeling that... Yeah, the Thunder being the Pelicans is not that impressive. Even though they're number one, right? And even though they're, you know... Even though they seem to be, you know, very weak and vulnerable, they show... But I think when when you go deeper in the playoff, the Thunder will show its vulnerability, right? Right now, they're not showing you because they're, they're being... I think the Pelicans are probably the weakest team in the playoff right now, in my opinion, right? Aside from the, you know, Phoenix Suns, right? So let's go over with the Clipper versus the Mavericks and... I expect the Mavericks to beat them in five games, but somehow, you know, the Clipper pushed it to game six and yeah, I I noticed that the Mavericks, you know, have, you know, a little bit of a defense issue and they have they still have a lot of holes and gaps, right? And I think for the longest time the Clipper, you know, owned the Mavericks, but now you know the Mavericks finally, you know, beat the Clippers, right? And sending them home in you know in game one, like Clipper, every every time, you know, when it comes to playoff, there's always something wrong with Clipper, whether it's injury problem, chemistry issue, or whatever that is, right? They need to get rid of, they need to blow this out, man. Like, I know that that James Harden and Paul George is, it's just who they are, right? They, they don't really show up in the playoff, they're just a regular season, you know, players, right? So yeah, so let me go over, you know, like, you know, the series, right? So, yeah, if they have Kawhi Leonard, maybe the the Clipper could have pushed Game Seven, but I still, I never trusted the Clippers, to be honest with you, right? I never trusted them. It's the same old movie again and again, you know, like they do well regular season, the playoffs, like they just. They, they don't go deep in the playoff, to be honest with you. They always exit, you know, way earlier than, you know, their, you know, than your know, expectation that was put on them, right? The first game, you know, like, Clippers was making, like, every single shot. And this is why they beat the, the Dallas in game one. So, yeah, Dallas is probably, you know, have defense issues. And like I said, I think I'll repeat that again in game two, you know. Yo, Clipper folded again, you know, like, that's the game they should have won, and Game 3, Dallas beat them, and then, you know, surprisingly, Game 4, you know, James Harden and Paul George just show up. I feel like James Harden and Paul George do show up in the playoff, but it's only, like, the first few games, and then, you know, like, whenever it comes to Game, especially if it comes to Game 5, Game 6, like, I see James Harden and Paul George, they'll play well for a while, but then, you know, when it comes to, like, the most important moments, like, Game 5, Game 6, or Game 7, they folded, right? They they just disappear, like Plano disappeared. In game five, the Dallas just like blew out the 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 um the Clippers. And then your know, game six, another blowout win. An easy victory, so not you must say there and Kyrie's been balling out, you know. I feel like it's the only reason, the only difference why the, the Mavericks won is because they got a decent role player, you know, they got, you know, they have a little bit more bigs and also um, they got Kyrie Irving. So that was the biggest difference of, you know, how, you know, the Mavericks overcome the Clipper this series, right? And then we got to talk about, you know, the, the Celtic versus, the, you know, the Miami Heat, right? And... Yeah, I, I, it's just no surprise that, you know, the Celtics just gentle sweep the Heat, you know. And I knew that the Heat would probably still won game, but I didn't know that they won in, you know, Boston Celtics. So, the Celtics are a bit exposed. I knew that the Heat would just take one game and, and that's pretty much it, you know. Like, the Celtics just, you know, control the rest of the series. Nothing much to explain there, you know. Yeah, I knew that the Heats are just going nowhere without Jimmy Butler, you know, being injured. So, yeah, that was just like a sweet, you know, victory. But, but you know, I, I feel like whoever comes out, you know, 
for Cavs versus Magic series, like they have no chance of beating the Celtics. Just to be honest with you, so yeah. And then I got the Bucks versus Pacer, and I originally picked the Pacers. You know, BM the six. That didn't surprise me at all because Bucks just has you know issues, right? They have defense issues. Giannis is not there, and Damian Lillard. You know. Let me go over that series real quick before, you know, before I talk about, you know, the upcoming series. So, yes, yeah, so, so the Bucks actually won game one. And then, you know, game two, you know, um, Pacer beat the Bucks. And then, you know, they, it did have some overtime in game three. Pacer won again. I mean, Pacer just do their own stuff. This is why they beat the Bucks in six. Right? They only lost like one home. I mean, they just have to win one game at the Bucks and this series is pretty much over with, right? So and you just have to protect their home court, which exactly what the Pacer did, right? Even though they got blown out by game five, you know, to the bunch of role play, that that just exposed the Pacer. The Pacers I mean, if, if the entire Bucks was healthy, then um, the Pacer has no business, you know, being, should have been a limb day ready, but. Yeah, the Bucks they expose the Pacers, you know, like, like the, it's just a role player without, you know, any superstar. They just blew out the Pacer in game five, and then, you know, Pacer, again, blew out, you know, the Bucks in game six. So, that just shows you everything that, you know, the Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks did not need Damian Lillard. Like they should have never made that trade to be honest with you. Because. Because Damian Lillard seems to be you know. A, a really big issue for the Bucks. Right. And you want to know why. It's because of you know the defense. Right. And the Bucks just gave up you know their important asset. That made them success you know in the first place. Just to get you know Damian Lillard. So. Sometimes training for the star is just not worth it, you know, at all. Just like, you know, the Suns, right? They have high, you know, like high expectations. The Phoenix Suns, you know, going you know, to the finals and winning a championship. But they got totally swept, you know, in the first round, you know. I feel like the old Phoenix Suns, you know, roster like a few years ago is better than this roster as of right now, right? Like you just need good depth and you just need to build, you know, like good chemistry around, you know, this one specific superstar, right? Not like building like a super team, not, you know, getting like super stack and something like that. And it does not guarantee championship. It does not. Right? So that's where I'm trying to explain you where this, you know, backfire, you know, the Bucks. Even though, you know, Chris Milton was very big in the series. You know, they got past Kelsey Algum and let's see like how the pay... Yeah, I knew that the the Pacers are not going to beat the Bucks easily, even though the Bucks are injured. Because the Pacers, to me as a casual, they just they just have you know defenses problem, right? So yes, and then I will go over you know the Knicks versus you know the Seventy Sixers, right? Let's see how that series goes, and the Knicks actually beat the Pacers, but then you know. I know it's a six game series. I know that this could have gone to seven, but the series is like super close. I think this is like one of the closest series, you know, out of all of your know, other series, right? And that's why I was picking 50 50, and I wasn't sure like who's gonna come out of the series, you know, Knicks versus, you know, 76ers, right? Yeah, the series is a lot closer than you think, you know, especially if you watch the game. Right, so yeah, just because the, the series ended like in four or five, six or seven game or whatever that is, it may look like a sweep, but it's actually a lot closer than you think, right? And a lot of these games that the Sixer and the New York Knicks play, you know, like either either side can you know just take a win, right? And yeah, just you know, a team you know, having your know, one extra game or one extra win can you know, change the whole dynamic of the series, right? And who's gonna advance and who's gonna get eliminated, right? So, 
this is one heck of a series, you know, the, I think the biggest leader for the Knicks is Jalen Bronson, and they do not have, you know, the, um, you know, um, Julius Randle, which is why the Knicks are sh struggling against the Sixers, right? The 76ers, you know, they have Joel Embiid, they have Tyrese, Maxis, and... They got, they got, you know, a bunch of good role play. They got Kyle Lowry, Nicholas Batum. Like, yeah, the Sixers look really dangerous. And they, they just, like, kept, they, 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 they make the Knicks run, you know, make a run for the, you know, their, their own, you know, monies and, you know, season, right? A good run. So, game one, you know, the, the Knicks and the 76ers, it was only, like, a seven point. You know, differential, then, you know, the seven, and then the Knicks, you know, just, like, won at some buzzer or something like that in game two, and then game three, you know, Joel and Beach, you know, had a monster game, you know, dropping 50 points, leading, you know, to 114 to 125, and then game four, um, the Knicks stole at the 76ers. I feel like the 76ers should have won either. They should. They could have won game two. Yo, they were leaning a bit. Then you know the Knicks made you know a phantom comeback. So base after you know the the the, the next four game series, like it is this series so close. Like I could not explain. It. Like the 76ers could be up three one, but in this case the Knicks are actually up three one. If the 76ers are that three one. By game four, then the Knicks has no chance of, you know, being the 76ers, right? And the 76ers, you know, could have won either game five or game six, you know. Most likely the Sixers could have won game six, you know, coming at their home, you know, getting in the crowd and could have ended the Knicks right there, right? But the Knicks won it very close, you know, like they were up 3-1 and they knew that the 76ers had... No answer. Even though they took game 5 and then, you know, game 6, they go back, you know, to 76 or and then, you know, the Knicks won there. You know, got, got the job done, right? So, yeah, I think the Knicks was, I, I, I overheard that the Knicks was a little cocky, you know, in game 5, you know. They, they were like, who's in pains and they thought they have a secure victory, but then, you know, the 76 are just, Yo, beat them, man. I wonder, like, how did the 76ers, you know, like, win, you know, um, game five, right? It's free, it's, it's Tyrese Maxi that scored, like, 46 points. 46 points. That's just, just very unheard of. You know, thanks to Tyrese Maxi, you know, save, saving the 76ers, right? You know, play overtime, but man, this guy just. You like seeing your know, young, you know, no namers, you know, ball out, you know, just to save your series and making the series go you know, even more exciting than it has to be. So, yeah, so I think that's an 18 minute done of me, you know, recapping, you know, every series, you know, in the playoffs. So, as I already talked about the Tim Wolf versus, you know, Denver Nuggets, so. Yeah, I say both those series are probably, you know, boring stuff, but the t the Suns, you know, are just, you know, like, they're nowhere near the Timberwolves, and then, you know, the Nuck and the Lakers just, and the Nuck is just, you know, keeping the Lakers, you know, alive. You know, it, to me, that wasn't a gentle sweep, because I already explained my, you know, older video, right? And besides, you know, Lakers was mostly being, you know, not the Denver Nuggets, so... Yeah, so let me talk about, you know, the other series, you know, like Thunders, you know, um, versus the Mavericks, right? And then I got Pacers versus Knicks, and then, you know, I cannot talk about the Celtics right now it's because, you know, they don't have an opponent yet. So, if you look at the NBA bracket, so, don't need to explain that again, so. Anyway, you want me to talk about, you know, Thunder versus Mavericks and Pacers versus Knicks. Right, so which one should I go first? So obviously, I just randomized, you know, safe, best for the last. The West is too tough, so I'm going to have to pick with the East, you know. Doesn't matter, at the end of the day, you know, you're going to hear about everything while I have to say in this video. So, just 
some people don't care who I choose, so I just choose Pacer versus Nyx, right? So who you think I got? Uh, this is like pretty obvious, you know. I got the Nyx, you know, because the 76 are even though they're the same seed, but they could like I I see that a lot of people fear that you know 76 are like if they score like a couple more positions or a couple more balls and if they play like a little bit more better like they would have overcome the Knicks right and also the Knicks have your injury problem but even though the Knicks you'll have a little holes and in injuries but I still think that they should you know take care of the Pacers you know without a problem right so I don't think this is not gonna be a sweep this is obviously not gonna be a four game you know Pacer will put up a fight in some of those series I feel like the Knicks, I wouldn't be surprised if the Knicks blew out the Pacers in one of those games. One of those, you know, Knicks wins, right? Just based on your Pacer plays low defense. You simply cannot be a championship if you just only have offense and you play like very minimal in your defense. The def I feel like the Knicks plays a better defense than you know, the Indiana Pacers, right? So this is why, you know, it's very easy and it's probably going to be, I think the Knicks, you know, like next opponent versus Pacer, I feel like that's going to go a lot more faster and easier than, you know, the 76ers, you know, I feel like that's going to be easier series for the Knicks. So yeah, and I'll tell you why. So you're saying that if the Knicks has an easier opponent, on the Pacer than the 76ers, that means this series should should have ended in what if it's not a sweep. So obviously I would say Knicks in five. So But then you know, but then I won't be shocked if the Knicks actually beat the Pacers in four games. But then to be honest with you, like sweeping a team in the playoff is actually really hard, right? Sweeping a team in the playoff is super hard, like you can have to blow them out. You cannot keep the game close. You have to like, you know, eliminate the other teams. Your know, confidence and all stuff. That team needs to have like numerous of problems to order not to win a single game to play off. And the lopsided between an opponent and opponent, like some team will have made no adjustment and all that stuff. I mean, all these factors has to happen, you know, for a team. You know, just to get sweet and also your know, injuries, right? Yeah, I feel like the Knicks are probably going to win, you know, their home games, you know, and then... Then when it comes to the... I predict, like, when it comes to, you know, to the Indiana Pacer, maybe the Pacer will keep the series close. Maybe the... I think the Knicks will, like, lead the Pacer a little bit, but then, you know, the Pacer may come back and beat the Knicks, so... Yeah, so that's why I got the Knicks in five, but Pacer could, you know, be a little bit surprising. They could be a little dangerous, and I don't think this series is not going to go past six. I'll be surprised if it goes to game seven, so. Yeah, if if the Knicks somehow, you know, accidentally drag the series to six and seven game, which they're supposed not to on the Pacer, then they're probably not... They're probably a fraudulent team and they're not going to beat the Boston Celtic for sure. So if this highly assuming you know, Celtic either face Cavaliers or Magic, you know, just beat them, you know, manhandling their own business, you know, easily. And then, yeah, so anyway, let's go over with the Thunders, you know, versus the Mavericks and who I got out of that series. So I've been paying attention to more about Mavericks and Thunders. The reason why I don't pay too much about Thunders you know, the Pelicans, pathetic. You know, the Pelicans, you know, they cannot win a single game, you know. And also, um... Yeah, so, just, I think because the Thunder had a very easy pull. And then, you know, the Mavericks, you know, they're kind of like fraud, you know, when it comes to defense. And the Thunders, they just need to, you know, find a way, you know, how to stop Luka and how to, you know... Stop Kyrie, I mean, stopping these two players is very hard, you know. It's tough, so. 
let me think, let me think. Who Who's going to come out of this series, right? I say that this series could be very close. It could go to Game 7. This has a much higher chance of going to Game 7 than comparing you to other any other four series. Has maybe a 25% chance, if not more, right? So yeah, that's a decent, but I think that the series will go to at least... It has to be at least 5 games, right? Or most likely, you know, 6 games, right? The Thunders are young and the Mavericks are, you know, have experience. I think because the Mavericks got Kyrie Irving and they got Luka that been to, you know, playoffs multiple times. I won't be surprised if the Mavericks actually eliminate the Thunders, right? Yeah, because we all know that the Thunders are too young, you know. They they haven't not been to the conference semifinals before, you know, so... Yeah, they're just... They're pretty, like... I feel like... The reason why I say close theory, because... Let me put this, you know, in... This is a metaphor. So the Mavericks are like the Cavaliers, and the Thunders are like the Magic, right? The Thunders are the younger team than the Mavericks, so... I... I... I feel like whoever have more experience will advance you know, to the conference finals. Right, so this is going to be another you know, repeat of Cavalier versus Magic, right? So for me, let me look at this. So the Thunder, they got Shaz, Gillies, you know, Alexander, you know, they got a bunch of good role players. They got Shadrick Holmgren, and I think for this series, I'll be rooting for the Thunders, but I have no, but I don't think... They're gonna, they're not gonna beat the Mavericks. I just got a feeling, right? I hope I'm wrong. I root for the Thunders, you know. I root for you know the underdogs. Just to, you know, make this series much more fun. Just to get a lot more people, you know, to like me and respect me, right? All these young teams. It's so fun when the young teams, you know, like surprisingly beat you know an old experienced team, right? I feel like the Thunders are going to be, you know, a very dangerous team in the, in the next coming years. It could be as soon as next year's, you know. They may actually get to the finals, you know. But sorry if I sound delusional, but I'm not a Thunders fan. I mean, Thunder fans will appreciate, you know, like what I said about their teams, you know, and all stuff. So, yeah, I think space matters the most, you know. It's not like how good and talented you are, right? The talent's like, you know, one thing, you know, like, if the Thunder overtake the Mavericks, that means they must have really good, you know, talent. They have, must be really disciplined team. But if this team is, like, indisciplined, then by common sense, I think the Mavericks could have beat them in five games. So, yeah, but I hope Thunders, you know, will make this series, you know, to, to, to game six, right? It could be a weird scenario where, you know, Thunder, they win all their home games and Mavericks win all their home games, but... Yeah, if it goes to 7, then I will put my money on the Mavericks. Because they're... Because Kyrie and Luka... Kyrie is a very clutch player, you know? Which is why he got LeBron James the championship in 2016, so I have to give Kyrie credit too. So Kyrie's gonna go crazy and all that stuff, and... The Thunder may not actually know what to do in Game 7, right? Or it feels like the Sacramento Kings, you know, versus the Golden State Warrior, right? Of, you know, last year, right? The Mavericks are the Warriors situation and then the Thunders are just like Sacramento King. I remember that the Warriors just barely, like, sneakily, you know, beat the Kings, you know, in Game 7, right? So, this is why this video go long because I have to explain a lot more details, you know, like, why the team will win. What will happen, right? So Timberwolf, so let me go over, over you know, three series that is coming, you know, in the conference summer final. So I got the Timberwolf in about, you know, five, in about, you know, five to six game. I cannot, you know, disrespect, you know, the defending champs Nuggets. The Timberwolf will, like, yeah, the Nuggets are probably going to still, like, one or two games away from the Timberwolf, even though Timberwolf looks clearly better than... The Mavericks, Thunders, I still, I have to pick the Mavericks, you know, even though they were struggling against, you know, the fraudulent, you know, Clippers, and then, easy take, I put 85% series 
on the Knicks to take care of the Indiana Pacers, right? So, yeah, in my opinion, I won't be surprised if the Knicks has like about over a 90% chance being, you know, the Pacers, you know. Just simply, you know, just because, you know, the Knicks have, you know, much better coach and much more better, you know, plays and defense. So, peace out.